In this video, I'm going to introduce a new command. It's called Swift Protrusion. If you click on this Swift Protrusion command, you will have this window pop-up allows you to choose single pass cross-section or multi-pass and cross-section. We use a single pass cross-section for this demonstration. Click on OK. And the next is make sure this tab, that is drop down menu, and the coison plane is selected. It could be any of these one. It depends on the configuration. Make sure that is selected. Then we can select the reference plane of that one. The one not come across to the rib. Okay, particular to both strips. All right, here we have a chance to actually draw straight line uh, as a pass. So if we click on straight line and move the mouse to the middle of this line and drag, drag horizontally, distance is 100. Uh, click fix distance right click to cancel straight command straight line command move to this tangent R command use the tangent arc click and move the mouse pointer to the end of this line make sure the end point indicator appears click and drag it away uh, now you have a chance to enter uh, the radius of the Tangent R, we put 100 here. Now you have a chance to enter the angle of this R, we put 90 here. Then we click, we have this pass created. Now we can click on this close sketch. You can see we have a pass. The next is to uh, create the Cross section. To create a cross section, uh, we need to click on finish here first. Then we click on it automatically move to the next step, which is cross section. Uh, then we use this one, select from the sketch. Then we click on this select from loop. Because we have the feature here already, so we can select from loop. Click that one. Click again. Then you have this model created automatically. Click on finish. Click on cancel. So we, we can you can see the uh, edge and extrude along the path we created. At the moment, it is a solid one, right? So we need to use a different command to create a hole on it. That is next uh, demonstration. That's it for this one.